Okay, so I'm Siren Sage, and they've added some new things yesterday, but it was pretty late by the time I got my update going, and then when I loaded up the console today, there was another system update for the PS4. I think what did it say? Version 11.5 or something? Update 11.5? Anyway, uh, because I haven't been able to play due to things needing updates and everything else that's been going on in my life lately, I just decided now would be a good time to try to do the new stuff. So they added Shiori as a character. I can go look at her, um, her character banner. So they added her finally. They also added her story chapter, and they also added a new hangout series, which Lynette is a part of. Also, they have this now. Um, this is the Chronicled Wish. I don't know how it is. There's this guy that I'm sub to, a channel called uh, Musashi, who shows exclusive stuff to Genshin that you don't normally see. Like, he shows, you know, clipping out of bounds and showing you stuff in the game. Uh, cause he has multiple accounts and he does that. Um, but he was the one who was telling me about the Chronicled Wish. Uh, I did a video talking about it, saying that only characters that have appeared three times on the game's main banners will appear here. So, if the character has already been uh, appearing three times, like if they've been on a main banner and they've appeared three times in the game since the game is launched, they will be featured here. So the only thing is you need fate points, they're called fate points. Um, apparently... You have to use Entwined Fates. These are the characters that are set. So I, I, I'm curious if they're going to be changing these characters that are featured. Because it looks like they have six characters and then they have the weapons. You can also chart tor towards a weapon if you want it as well. Um, the Hunter's Path looks pretty cool. Looks like one, a weapon that uh, like Venti would have or something. Because like, it's green. <laughs> It's green. <laughs> uh, less, less prayer. Increases movement speed. I'm trying to find a good strong catalyst. I know there's multiple of them, but I don't know like what's the strongest catalyst in the game. Is what I'm trying to get at. This looks pretty meta though. I like the blades and the stuff on it. Um, increases movement speed by 10%. When in battle, gain an 8% elemental damage bonus every 4 seconds. You have 4 stacks. Last until the character falls or leaves. Has crit rate on it. Um, I already have this sword. I already have this. I already have this sword, so I have these two swords. I have the spear and the bow already, and I also have the the book. So I basically have all of the sky sky weapons, the skyward weapons. I pretty much have all of them. The only one I'm missing is a claymore. So I have the sword. I have the spear. Um, I have the bow and the catalyst. I just I don't have the claymore. Yeah, the Claymore I don't have. This, I think this is the one they want to give the Diluc. I thought people normally give this weapon to Razor. I've seen people do it. Uh, I think that's for Ito. That's probably for Eula. So yeah, so I think it's Ito, because Ito's on the banner. So I think this sword you give to Eula, this is probably to um, Diluc, this is to Jean, but Mona's on there too, which is why there's two catalysts, because it's Mona and Klee. I think I want to say Klee gets this one and the Lost Prayer ones probably goes to Mona. Let's see. But for, for... See, there's two sword characters, which is why there's two. I'm assuming they think the Skyward one probably could go, but I, it's actually, this one here actually is Jean's weapon. If you read it, it's, uh, it's from the Soul of the Knights of Favonia, which is what she is. So I don't know who you, I think maybe they're assuming you give the Skyward Sword to, to Albedo. I would never give that to him. I have all of these characters except for Eula and Diluc. I personally don't care for Jean or Eula. I don't like either one of them. Um, Klee is okay. I like her as a character, but when it comes to play as her, I'm probably gonna say no. I mean, she's fun, but she's not like a character that I'm like super hyped about. Like as if I was like with Albedo, he's one of my top favorites. 
Mona's all right. I just feel like they keep changing her voice too much, and the way they made her, the voice direction, I feel like it was better before. Because now she kind of talks like this, and I'm just like, no. I do like Deluxe, though. I've been trying to get Deluxe since the game launched, so I want to see if maybe I can try to get him. I kind of want to get Chiori as well, but don't know. I haven't gotten a, a five star in a long time. I think my last five star was was Farina. Wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. So yeah, it's been a while. 11-7. So my last five star I got last year. I haven't gotten any five stars this year at all, so. Alright. Let's go ahead and start that hangout then. So we're gonna be doing both, but I'm probably I make these in separate videos so that they don't get split up, so. Let's go ahead and start her, so checks and cats. Okay. So go near the area near Hotel de Bois. I mean, that's not how you say it. I think it's de Bois. Because it's, it's like a French name. You don't say it the way you think you would. Yeah, I gotta go to Fontaine. See, I was trying to use this resin, my resin stuff, at the top. Oh, I have 172. I think I need to go fight that creature in Sumeru. Because I'm trying to max out some characters that need things there. So I'm also trying to max out... Uh, I have some characters that are, like, level broken to, like... It'll say they're level 80, but they're really 90. I'm just, I just don't got the the level up materials. So, like, they're, like, level, level broken, but I can't do anything about it, so... I was trying to use some of my stuff before I started this video. Like, see, I was trying to get some. That's what I was doing. I was trying to level up characters. See, he's almost to 90, and I think, uh, Kirara... See, she's almost close to 80. I'm trying to level them up, but it's taking a long time. Great, I think my cat wants out of the room now. I, see, I keep having a lot of imp interruptions. Um, every time I go to do videos, it's like either I suddenly get sick or people start fighting or I have to get up and do something. It's been really hard to try to do videos at all lately. Oh, I really don't feel too well, honestly, now. I'm alright. I'm having stomach issues. Medicines that I've been on have been messing with my the digestive system and it's been putting me in a lot of pain. It's easy to fix a machine when you know how it's built and how it works. True. But, but people, people... They're much more difficult. Yes, true words have never been spoken, my boy. Go talk to your sister. <laughs> I mean, she's his adopted brother, so... Is that Lynette with the kitty? Yeah, because Linny and Lynette are actually really twins. But Fremine is their brother because he's in the same house as them. Because I guess Elechino, one of the Fatui Harbingers, I guess she adopts a bunch of like children that are homeless or something. Like orphans, basically. Um, she takes them in as her children. And that's why Fremine is their brother, because he's adopted. Oh boy. So these are fun. I've done a, uh, I've done pretty much every single one. Basically, it gets a little difficult though because you have to try to play back. You have to chart away towards one ending and then you have to like go back and replay it through it and try to change it. And you always start off with five hearts at the top. Uh, but you can say the wrong thing to them and it drops their opinion of you and it's really... It's hard to, to manage at times because there's some endings that require you to to wear all the hearts down, and then there's some that don't. Yeah. Are we assuming she can talk to the cat? Because she is one? I approach stealthily. What are you up to? Um... I feel like sneaking up on her might give the wrong suspicion. It might scare her. She'd be like, but if you see her, you'd be like, hey, what are you doing? Mm. 
Normally I would call out to her, but I want, I'm curious about the approach stealthily thing, because I think the other cat will alert her. Mmm, damn, I don't know what to do. This is gonna be funny. Watch us stay behind you. What? Oh, it's you. One second. Now activating chat mode. She's a robot. You made me jump there. I thought they'd finally caught me. Made you jump? Barely? I didn't notice. Is someone out to kidnap you? Objectively speaking, the trouble is entirely of my own making. What a weird thing to say to someone. Is someone trying to kidnap you? Why would you say that? But when she did say, oh, I thought they almost grabbed me, I would have been like... In a real life situation, you'd be like, who? What do you mean? Half an hour ago, I was at Hotel de Boer for a drinks reception. It was to celebrate the successful opening of a show. But it was draining my energy. So, so, I waited, I waited for, the for the right, right moment, moment then, then snuck, snuck away, away so I could, I could switch, switch to standby mode. mode. I see, so they sent someone to find you and bring you back. But why? Um, probably, probably because, because I'm playing the lead, lead role in the show? The lead role? Is, Is that, that so surprising? surprising? I'm, I'm always, always getting invitations to do solo performances. performances. Hmm. I, just I just usually get Lenny to write back and turn him down. But, but then, then came the Fontanalia Film, film festival. festival. We took we all the kids from the House of the Hearth out, out to see a film. And, and after, after it finished, finished they, all they all started clamoring for me to try out acting, acting for some reason. Even, Even Lenny, Lenny was, was chanting, chanting along, along with them. them. See, the kids of the House of the Hearth is where they, where they live, like the, their house. So that's what I'm saying. I wonder how many kids are actually there because Framine is the only one they show from there, like, as, because he's, they're, they're all their siblings, but, like, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming the other ones must be too young and they're not important to the story, which is why you never see them, but it's just kind of weird that there's that many children under a harbinger's care. It's kind of odd. Anyway, it just so happened that a director called Mary had sent me an invitation right around then. I'll spare you the details, but basically, I ended up accepting it. So this is the dramatic debut of Magician's Puppet, huh? Yep, yep. you nailed, nailed it. it. I'm, I'm playing the role, role of the puppet. puppet. You sound depressed. In, In fact, fact, the show's, the show's called The Lost, Lost Puppet, Puppet, and it's and a masked mime show. show. So, so I don't have I don't to do have any to do facial expressions, expressions or say any lines. lines. Literally, Literally just, just a series of physical, physical movements. movements. The director, the director says, says it's a very avant-garde art form. It does sound pretty avant-garde, but... Can people really understand the plot? Art is not comprehended by the mind, but felt in the heart. At least, that's what the director says. Anyway, if nothing else, the opening performance seemed to go down well. At the drinks reception, everyone was crowding around me, saying, Triumphant character portrayal. Faithful adaptation of the original work. Unequivocally, quintessentially avant-garde. And then stuff like that. But being the center of attention is draining. So the moment they left me to go harass the director instead, I was out of there. For once, you weren't able to use Linny as a human shield. The other thing is, some weird things happened while I was on the stage. Oh? Oh, <laughs> sorry, Bonnie. I didn't mean to leave you out of the conversation. My bad. I take it Bonnie's your pet cat? Bonnie is a crazy bunny from Five Nights at Freddy's. Anyway, no, no, we, just we just met. We bumped into, into each other right after, after I slipped away. And you've already named her? Well, it'd be, it'd be kind, kind of difficult, difficult for us to communicate, to communicate otherwise. otherwise. Besides, I think, I think she's, she's taken, taken a liking to the name. Haven't we, Bonnie? Bonnie? Yeah, yeah, that's right. right. Good, Good kitty. kitty. We'll, we'll go find, find your owner soon, I promise. Owner? Not a stray cat, then? Nope. nope. She's, she's wearing, wearing a collar, and for the, and for the most, most part, part, she's, she's pretty, pretty well groomed. groomed. If, if she, she is a stray, she, she hasn't, hasn't been for long. long. Her, Her stomach's been, been growling, growling a lot. lot. I, guess I guess she must she have been missing for a few days, days now. As, as much as I'd love to hang out with her for a while longer, her owner's probably worried sick about her. Assuming she has an owner, that is. But the reception... I should probably show my face there again at some point. Even, Even if it's, it's just, just to make, make excuses, excuses and leave again. again. Mm, this 
decision time. So like I was saying, with these endings, this is how it branches. You have to listen to what they say, and then based on what you say to her, that's what changes the path of the ending. There was one time when I did Shinobu's, I had to replay one part, like, I want to say three times, because I couldn't figure out how it changed, because I had selected all options, and I kept getting the same ending. And it took me a, a while to figure out what exactly, what line was different, because it's, it's literally one line of dialogue changes everything. Is this a tough decision for you? Oh, I just I find, find it exhausting, exhausting. Thinking, thinking through, through all, all the different, different ramifications, ramifications of different choices and so on. And so on. That's more well Lenny's area than, than mine. So, so unless, unless it's something, something really important, important I, I usually just, just leave the decision making to him. But for once, he's not here when you need him. Bet that doesn't happen, Alvin. It's, it's fine. fine. He got Fremenay to make me a little something for just this situation. Speaking of Fremenay, that's who I walked up here as. A fatometer. What's this? It looks, it looks pretty, pretty over the top, the top I, know, I know, but it's, it's essentially just, just a box of cards. cards. He, kept he kept the design, design simple, simple, so it'll, it'll be harder hard to break. break. Why would you want to break it in the first place? Did I miss something? The way, the way it, works it works is, I pick a card at random, then look at the number on the card. And how does that help you make a decision? Well, for example, if the number on the card is five or higher, I help, I help Bonnie, Bonnie find her owner. If it's, if it's less than five, five I, go I go back, back to the reception. reception. Simple and straightforward. I just I have, have to believe in the bond between me and my cards, and my, my fate, fate will reveal, reveal itself, itself to me in numerical form. form. At least, that's, that's what Lenny said. said. Anyway, okay. I, I guess, guess I'll, I'll give, give you a demonstration. demonstration. Oh god. As Lynette attempts to draw a card, the device huh. submits to her under a sight and read it. Was, Was I, I using it wrong? wrong? Hmm. Maybe, Maybe if, if I just... You know, I've told them this before, and I keep telling them. When you have dialogue that appears on the screen like that, you need to let it sit longer than what you let it sit for. You need to actually let it sit and let the player manually click the text off the screen. Any and all text in this game needs to be manually clicked by the player. Because when you put stuff on the screen too fast like that, people can't read it fast enough and you, you, you like lose the context and you become like uninterested because you didn't have time to read what it said anyway so you don't know what's really going on or what happened. And I've told them that before. Like I've sent like reports saying please stop making text and story things go by too quickly. There has been countless times where I'm lucky that I was recording and I was able to go back and read what it said, but at the time that I was playing, I couldn't read it, and, like, context was lost. Like, I keep telling them that, and they just keep putting the text on the screen for, like, two seconds, and it's really annoying. See what I mean? Clearly, there's some design flaws to iron out. I'll have to let Fremenay know. I feel like maybe this wasn't a design issue. Let's see... Which, which card did, did I get? Six. Four. Less than five. So that means no helping Bonnie. So four in, uh... In J Japan or Japanese is like a bad number. They, they always associate death and bad fortune with the number four. That's why a lot of buildings and even hospital rooms, they skip the number four because they think four is like a bad omen. I don't know why. Pretty sure there's more to it than that. But they just do not like the number four. Well, the cards, the cards fell, fell on the, on the ground, ground though, so, so I don't think it counts as fate. If you want to get the right answer, answer you, you have, have to let, let fate decide. decide. Also something Lenny said. So, so to put it another way, way if, if picking, picking a card up off the ground, ground is how to not leave it to fate, then, then that, that means, means it, it must, must be the, be the wrong, wrong answer. answer. I think what Lenny really meant is, sometimes you have to accept the answer you didn't want. Um, or... Why don't, why don't you pick, pick a card? card? Since, Since I, I ran, ran into you here, here that, that means... Uh, our, our fates, fates are, are, like, like interfering, interfering with, with each other. other. You should leave the razzle-dazzling to Lenny. That sounds insultive. All right, I'll pick a card for you. Thank you. This, this one is final, final, I promise. Here, Here take, take the fatometer. If, if it's five or above, above that means fate successfully changed. Anything, anything lower than five, than five is a fail. fail. 
I want to say like six or seven. Also, if you have your own thoughts about what I should do, feel free to share. Now that I've got a good problem solver here to help, I don't need to run every little thing by fate. Oh. Fatometer, I'm, I'm not sure. Let's leave this one to fate. That's a different symbol. How about you do neither? I think you should help Bonnie. I think you should head back to, to the drinks reception. I mean, you figure I'm going to have to replay through this anyway. So I think there's one where you help Bonnie. So the, I think there's only so many endings. Every character has, like, I think hers was five or six. So one is where she goes back to the reception and you probably go with her. One is where you help find the cat and one is where you don't do anything. So I'm going to just say this one because she told me to. All right. Then let's, let's see where fate, fate will lead me. Oh god, okay. The random checks triggered by the phytometer often serve as indicators for Destiny's course or the success or failure of an action. Press to draw a card and get a random number between 1 and 20. If the number displayed is greater than or equal to the check difficulty, you will pass this check, otherwise you will fail it. Oh god, so they put a number in the middle of the screen and if my card is not higher than that, I fail? Oh my god. Yeah. Adequate preparation and friendly aid can sometimes affect the result of these checks. Your check count bonuses will add to your ra uh, will add it. Yeah, will add it. They should be your check, your current check bonuses will be added to your randomly drawn number, making it easier to pass checks. I felt like I was reading it wrong. Did they leave out a word? It should be will be, not will added. That doesn't make sense. Objective. So my number is five. Okay, you can move with the joystick. You can move with the joystick. I'm gonna go... here. Twelve. Success. So, we're looking for Bonnie's owner? I have to ask about this deck of cards. There's twenty cards in total, numbered one to twenty. So, there's only a one in five chance of drawing less than a five. I should also mention, this time the cutoff was five, but I just set that to wherever I feel like. Wow, you really don't want to go back to that reception party. To put it in perspective, I said I'd only do the show if I drew one. Fate can be pretty sneaky sometimes. Hmm. So, how do you plan to find Bonnie's owner? Um, I think I'll go to the Steambird and see about putting an ad in the paper. You want to come along? I think Bonnie wants you to come with. Are you sure it's not the cat that wants me to come, but you? Sure, if it means I get to hang out with you for a little bit longer, this sounds like a fucking pickup line. What? That sounds like a pickup line, like, sure, if I get to hang out with you. What are we doing? What the hell are we doing? What are a deceptively grandiose looking card box that is actually quite simple. The number drawn seems to indicate a certain direction of fate or perhaps the success or failure of a certain choice. As long as you believe in your bond with the cards, the number shown will show your fate. Since Lenny said that, let's just tentatively take his word with a shaker of salt. Like, yeah, basically take it with a grain of salt because it's probably not true. It's probably not true. Yes. Oh no. Woo, he went a little faster and a little further than I thought. Well, he is lightweight. He's pretty light, so I think he would go pretty far. You freezy. Every, Every stupendous day, day starts, starts with a steambird. Oh, oh, hi Lynette. Hi, hi traveler. traveler. What can what I can help, I help you, you with? with? We wanted to ask what the latest tales of humanity call him. No. Any commissions in there about a missing cat? Hmm. I don't, I don't think, think so. so. Have, Have you, you picked, picked up a stray? Up a stray? Yep. yep. If there's, if there's no, no commission to follow, to follow up on, could, could we, we post, post a notice, notice about, about the missing, missing cat, cat instead? instead? What would have happened if you would have said that other one? Because, like, she clearly said, let's go here and put an ad, and I'm just like, yo, what's up? What's in the news? Like, something completely unrelated. Why, Why of, of course. course. What a what kind, kind thing, thing to do. do. Just, just fill out the form. Da -da. 
Well, well we've, registered we've registered you as missing. missing. You can stay at my place until your owner finds you. You know, it doesn't make any sense. It has a collar, but this is clearly just a bow that they stuck onto this cat model. They needed to put the collar all the way around the neck for it to make sense, but I'm not gonna nitpick it. Also, I just wanted to say thanks for keeping us company for so long. Me or the cat? Well, I should probably head back to the drinks reception. Hopefully most of the people have left by now. If you've got some time, you should stop by my place tomorrow to see Bonnie. There's a nice cup of tea in it for you. Alright, see you then. Wait until the next morning. Didn't she... She They live close to this thing. Let me think. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm way on the, way on the other side. Oh, <laughs> he's having issues. I think it was <laughs> right here. Oh! Yeah. Right here. That was right. I was like, doesn't she live, like, right here? I believe this cat belongs to me. No, this cat belongs to me. I already, I already told, told you, you this, this isn't your cat. cat. Uh, just take, take a breather, breather, you two. Um, what's going on? Oh, uh, you're here. Yeah. As, As you can, can probably, probably see, you'll, you'll have, have to take, take a rain check on that tea I promised you. you. At, At least, least for now. now. This, this is, is my, my friend's, friend's cat. cat. He's, He's preoccupied, preoccupied with some, some important business, business so, so I came to retrieve her in his stead. No, 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 no. It's, it's far, far more, more likely, likely this cat to escape, escape from, from the Humane, humane society. society. Oh, jeez. Yeah, they added a bunch of new stuff to this. When it came to the Hangouts, you never had to worry about all of this. Passive checks are a special type of checks that need not be actively triggered, but instead will automatically trigger at specific times. If you pass, you will find some hidden information, such as irregularities in a person's attitude or certain incongruous details. Insight rate check. The gentleman's expression. Okay. Hesitation in his voice. It seems like he could be hiding something. His gaze keeps drifting off to the side. It's like he's trying not to draw attention to himself. How about we let Bonnie decide? Uh, uh, Bonnie? Bonnie? Uh, that's, that's the name, the name I've, given I've given her in the meantime. Animal handling. Let's see who Bonnie decides to approach. It has to be greater than eight. Oh, God. We went right to the middle last time, so let's go to right here. Nine. I was, oh my god, that was so close. Bonnie happily runs up to you and begins to weave through your legs. Well, this complicates things. This is no way to tell who her owner is. Seems she quite likes me. But that's not the point. There's no way to tell. <sighs> I, told I told you before! You before. This is my, my friend's, friend's cat. cat. It's, it's normal, normal for her not, not to trust me. me. Uh, listen, listen I'm, I'm the director, the director of, of the Humane, Humane Society, society okay? okay? We've, We've got, got so, so many strays, strays dogs, dogs, cats, cats you name it. it. I'm, I'm not, not even the one, one feeding, feeding them most of the time. Of the time. You can you hardly, hardly expect, expect the cat, cat to recognize, recognize me. me. Then how are you so sure she belongs to you? She, she just looked somewhat, somewhat familiar, familiar, so I came, came to check, check just in case. case. If, if she, she turns, turns out to be one of ours, ours I'll, I'll take her back. back. Simple, Simple as that. that. Even, Even if, if that's, that's not the case, case the, the Humane society, society could still, still take her, her in. in. If, if no, no one, one else comes, comes to claim her, that is. What's the Humane Society? That's actually a name of an animal shelter where I live, so that's kind of funny. Like, that's really what it's called. It really is called the Humane Society. Uh, we're, we're an organization, an organization that, specializes that specializes in rescuing and sheltering, and sheltering stray animals. animals. We've, We've been, been in business, business for several, several decades, decades now. now. I'm, Bernard, I'm Bernard, the current, the current director. director. The Humane Society. Huh. The name, the name sounds familiar. familiar. I, remember I remember hearing good things. things. You're the, You're the one, one in the Cartier, Cartier Lyonnais? Yes, 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 yes that's, that's the one. The one. 
Anyway, anyway um, um, if, if it's, it's not, not too much, much trouble, trouble, could I could possibly, possibly take, take a closer, closer look at the cat? cat? You know what this guy's trying to do? He so he fr he probably figures if it was put in the paper, then it means that the cat's worth money. If I save it, then whoever get wants it back will pay me for it. What a scumbag! If it, if it turns, turns out, out I, really I really am mistaken, mistaken. I, suppose I suppose that means the, the cat, cat belongs, belongs to this lady, this lady here. here. She would, she be, would the be the only, only remaining, remaining option, option after, after all. all. It belongs to my friend. With us here to keep watch, it should be fine. Go on, honey. Hmm. Oh no. Looks, Looks like, like I was, I was mistaken. mistaken. They, they do, do look similar, but there's an ever so slight, slight difference in this one's fur color. color. Deepest, Deepest apologies, apologies, friends. Well, well I, suppose I suppose this means I still have a missing cat, cat to search for. for. Apologies, apologies again, again for the confusion. <laughs> so, is this your friend's cat? <laughs> oh, uh, yes, yes exactly. exactly. Oh my god. Wait, Wait a second. A you, you lied earlier, didn't you? Lied? I'm afraid, I'm afraid I don't know what you mean. Uh huh. A liar always, always has a tell. The, the look in their eyes, their breathing, their breathing pattern, the way, the way they, they hold, hold themselves. themselves. The, the things that can give you away are often more numerous, numerous than you would think. What, what are, are you talking, talking about? about? The way, the way I, I see it, you're, you're conflating baseless, baseless conjecture with that. With that. Normally, when, when someone, someone is called out, out their breathing, breathing speeds up as they begin to panic. But your breathing pattern hasn't changed one bit. In fact, it's been strangely calm and measured this entire time. It stands to reason, then, that your agitated behavior earlier was all an act. If you're a bad guy, I'm sure you'll take off running the first chance you get. If you're a good guy, the most likely explanation is that you're a member of the Guards, or some similar organization. And you're basing this off of... Intuition. Nothing more. <laughs> Intuition. Well, I have to hand it to you, Lynette. You're right. I'm a member of the Guards. The name's Elodie. I'm currently investigating a cross-border smuggling case. This cat here... Bonnie, what's her name? Well, her owner's one of the prime suspects of our investigation. Um... A couple of days ago, our suspect got wind that we were on his tail and fled. That's most likely how he got separated from the cat. I just so happened to stumble upon your notice in the Steambird. So? I decided, I decided to see if he'd come back, back for her, but looks, looks like, like I overestimated him. him. If I were on the run, I don't think I'd come back either. The, the impact of this case has been, been huge. The Marshall Shosei Phantom, Phantom, the guards, and, and the Special, special Patrol, Patrol have all launched, launched investigations. investigations. If there was even the slightest chance that he would show himself, I had to follow up on the lead. So what's being smuggled? Drugs? A new, A new kind, kind of illegal drug. drug. Totally. Imitation synth. We confiscated all the synth on the market, but addiction isn't something that goes away overnight. Even without substances on the market, people are still looking for a way to get their next fix. And criminals are all too eager to capitalize on that addiction. That was the impetus for imitation synth. Needless to say, a small-scale market opened up very quickly. After the original synth debacle, we put several measures into place to prevent similar incidents from occurring. The perpetrators, the perpetrators got, got smart, smart though, and shifted, and shifted their, their sails overseas, overseas before, before those measures, measures could kick in. in. That's, That's when, when the imitation synth, synth smuggling, smuggling began. began. We, we only recently got word of the presence of imitation synth, synth overseas. overseas. We, managed we managed to track down, down evidence of some early transactions. transactions. What we were able to find out, however, has not proven that useful given the amount of time that has passed. The Marashose Phantom launched an investigation to track down every person in Fontaine capable of producing a drug like that. That's, That's how we learned about Bonnie's owner. owner. Who is he exactly? He's, He's a, researcher a researcher at the Fontaine, Fontaine Research Institute. Institute. His, His name, name is Pierre. Pierre, Pierre Lefebvre, Lefebvre, to be exact. exact. Don't I know that name? Lefebvre. Yeah. The Marshal Phantom, Phantom found him in Poisson. In addition, addition to the cat, cat, he also he had a pendant with him. him. Oh. Have I seen that before? Uh... Huh. At, At first, first, there wasn't, wasn't much, much cause, cause for suspicion. suspicion. A search, search of his house didn't reveal much to go off of either. either. The Marshal Phantom, Phantom very nearly left it at that. To be honest with you, it almost looked like some fucking 
Harry Potter symbol. It was only later that we realized the coat of arms on his pendant belonged to none other than the Lefebvre family. One of the most infamous aristocratic families in Fontaine. Obviously, this discovery prompted a further investigation into Pierre. At that point, however, we discovered that he'd already fled. Now the guards and the special patrol are all searching for him. Could his family be hiding him? That's not possible, actually. The Lefebvre family has been gone for a long time. Is that the man who kidnapped her and was trying to use her as a S slave? <laughs> S-E-X slave? Exactly. Oh. Many, Many years, years ago, several, several important members, members of the family, family including the patriarch, were murdered, were murdered by an assassin of mm -hmm. unknown origin. Right. From that point on, family's power and influence took quite the hit. That's what I was saying. He was the guy who bought her, um, because she was an orphan. Well, he didn't even buy her. He was going to sell her to another man. Uh... But he kidnapped her and took him, took her to, because he was going to kidnap, he was going to sell her. So he took her from Lenny. When Lenny wasn't looking, he kidnapped her. And then he was going to assault her and then sell her off. But that's when, um, Elechino arrived and, like, ended him and his entire family, I guess. The family is engaged in all manner of crimes. As you can imagine, there's no shortage of people waiting in the wings to take their revenge. And with the family severely weakened, they were, they were able, able to do, to do just, just that. that. Most, Most of the remaining family, family members succumbed to sickness, sickness or hunger. The ones, the ones that survived are currently living out their days under a new identity. Pierre, Pierre is one of those very survivors. survivors. He's been hiding away in the Fontaine, Fontaine Research Institute all these years. years. His, His true, true identity unbeknownst to all. Until now, that is. Is it really okay to share all this information with us? Well, well my, fellow my fellow guards, guards have told me all, all about, about how smart and, and courageous you both are. And, and I, know I know you possess, possess a, strong a strong sense of justice. justice. I suppose you're right. You got me there. There, there could, could be a chance, chance that Pierre, or one of his accomplices, accomplices might attempt, attempt to get close, close to Bonnie. Bonnie. Now, that now that you've, you've been, been briefed, briefed on the situation, on the situation I, was I was hoping, hoping you'd, you'd help, help us keep a lookout. Out. If I take Bonnie back, back to the guards with me, there's no way Pierre will try and come for her. Not even the most daring of criminals would attempt something like that. So we should keep Bonnie with us for the time being. I have, I have to, admit, to admit, I'm not I'm holding out too much hope that Pierre will come back, back for her. her. But if but there's if even the slightest chance, chance, then it's worth a shot. shot. Well, I've got but some other leads to follow up on. on. If, if Pierre, Pierre does, does appear, appear please, please contact, contact me right, right away. away. <sighs> you don't look so good. What's wrong? It's nothing. I'm fine. You're lying. It's just the head of the Lefebvre family. He was the eminent person who kidnapped me all those years ago. I literally just said that. It was at a dinner party. Someone tricked me into boarding the Lefebvre family carriage. Whoever it was, they took me back to their home. But before anything worse could happen, Father intervened. Then the assassin that Elodie mentioned. Yep. Father was the one who orchestrated the fall of the Lefebvre family. That's what led Lenny and I to join the House of the Hearth. We already know this story, though. Lenny told us this. When, when both, uh, during the main story, when, like, Farina's, she's like, oh, I'm not the god anymore, or I was the god, but then they were gonna kill her. And then that's when the flood happens, like... And then Lenny uh, freaks out when Lynette goes missing, and so does Fremenay. And that's when he's talking to Risley, and he goes, Where's my sister? How dare you? Because she said she was going to look at a trap door, and we left her to lay down. We left her to go do something, and then when we come back, she was missing. And then he, like, he freaks the hell out, and then he tells us why. Like, he literally has a mental breakdown when he finds out she's taken again. After all these years... I never thought I'd hear the letter of their name again. Are you okay? Don't worry about me. I wasn't feeling sorry for myself. I was just thinking about Lenny. He's been acting strange recently. He avoids me for days on end, consumes himself with some secret investigation, and then out of the blue pushes me to do that acting job. Thinking about it now, it's almost like the one I drew from that deck of cards was part of his plan all along. 
He must have asked Fremenet to help him out. In any case, I know he's hiding something from me. He's really pulled out all the stops this time. You think he knows about Pierre? It's very possible. I'm sure he tried to send me away because he was afraid it would bring up some painful memories for me. It wasn't necessary, though. Even after all these years, he's still as overprotective as ever. Well, you are like his only sister, and you are actually blood-related to him, so I think, yeah. Any, any guy would care about their sister, especially when she was kidnapped and almost assaulted and sold off as a damn slave. You'll have to help me teach him a lesson if we run into him along the way. Along the way? Are we going somewhere? Yep. Mm -hmm. I, want I want to head, head to the Fontaine, Fontaine Research, Research Institute, Institute to learn, to learn more, more information about Pierre. About Pierre. Just, Just let me let activate, activate search mode, mode and, and then we'll head out. out. Who knows? Who Maybe, Maybe we'll run, run into Linny along, along the way. Are you trying to help Linny out with his investigation or are you trying to prove yourself? You're trying to prove that he doesn't have to worry about you, aren't you? A little, a little bit, bit of both, both perhaps. perhaps. For the For most, most part, part though, though I just, just have the sense, sense that, that something's, something's not right. right. Something, something isn't, isn't adding up about Pierre's, Pierre's story. story. I'm, I'm just, just not, not sure, sure what. what. I also want to know what secrets he's hiding. Sometimes you've just got to take the bull by the horns, right? Okay, okay. I'll, write I'll write a letter, a letter explaining, explaining everything, everything to the, to the crew. crew. Once, Once that's, that's done, done, we can we head, head out. out. Oh my god. <laughs> This is the last one. If I have to leave the whole st yeah, where I have to leave, I'm gonna have to go turn these in really quick. Yeah, so with this update, like they changed a lot of the menus. Um, like the way things work and stuff, and it's a little it's a little odd. It catches me sometimes. That happened with Tower, like Tower Fantasy got an update and all the menus changed also, like everything changed. Thank you for com Add Astro. Okay. Yeah, I should probably use a character that I'm actually really good with, though. I mean, I'm good with him, it's just like... If I have to fight stuff, because some, some of these they require you to, and then some of them don't, and like... Uh... Some of my characters are stronger than others, and I don't want to make this difficult for me. Probably should use her. There's still a long sense. It would make sense too. Oh dear God! I haven't put a lot on this, so I don't know where I'm at. I think, what is that? Six? Oh, yeah. Well, she wasn't kidding when she said we were gonna run into him. Why'd she be like, what are you doing here? Lynette! Lynette. You're, uh, uh, not, not at a rehearsal? rehearsal? I have a friend that said I, I really like Lenny, but the way he's dressed makes me not be able to take him seriously. I get it, but he, he seems like he, he would freak me out if I ran into him alone at night. I'd be like, uh... Would be my reaction. You can drop the act, brother. In fact, I don't think either of us will have a need for acting anytime soon. You should know better than to try and keep something from me. You've never been able to do that, even when we were kids. I really hope that boar behind her doesn't attack me. Because there, there used to be a thing when you would get attacked in cutscenes and you were talking. I think they they fixed that to where that doesn't happen anymore, but I don't know. <sighs> that's, that's why, why I, tried I tried to distract, to distract you with the masked mime, mime show. show. But I guess, I guess you're, you're just, just too good. good. It's kind of funny because she has the cat ears and the tail, but they people were saying that Linny actually has the cat eyes and she doesn't. And staring at him long enough, I was like, you know what, I guess he kind of does. Care to introduce us to your new assistant? We already know her. <coughs> this is Officer Shavras, Captain of the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol. You may have met her already. We meet again. Nice to see you. I should clarify something. 
Mr. Lenny's here at my invitation, not the other way around. To borrow your expression, Miss Lynette, I suppose that would make him my assistant more than anything. We've brought on Mr. Lenny as a consultant in the past. He was instrumental in helping us crack a case involving a perpetrator who used magic tricks to commit crimes. I was hoping he'd be able to provide some valuable insight this time around as well. Are you here because of the Lafreya case? Ah, uh, so you've heard everything then? I mean, well, yeah, is that a problem? That's exactly why we're here. There's always been questions surrounding the fall of the Lefever family. Some people even believe the House of the Hearth was involved. Because it was. Whoever was behind it all was extremely cautious. They didn't leave a shred of evidence. This very fact, however, leads me to believe it was indeed the work of that harbinger. Uh-oh. I took a look at the entrance and exit records of all the carriages that night. Let's just say it wasn't hard to deduce that there's ill will between you two. Don't worry, I don't have any evidence to that effect, and I certainly don't plan on going to bat for such a despicable family. Plus, you were victims back then more than anything. I sought Mr. Linney's help with the smuggling case, nothing more. You're really teaming up with the House of the Heart, then? The way, the way I, I look at it, it's a, it's a collaboration between us as people, people not, not the organizations we represent. We represent. Besides, Besides, by working, by working together, together, we can, we can expose, expose the truth as quickly as possible. As possible. You, you can, can hardly, hardly say that's, that's at odds with the justice my organization strives for. I'm assuming you wouldn't be opposed to the some extra help? Not, not at all. all. I, was I was planning to invite, to invite you from the very beginning, Miss Lynette. It's just, just that, that my assistant here raised some objections. Am I answering for Lynette or myself here? Because it feels like I'm answering for Lynette as if though I am her. What the hell? Uh... Yeah, exactly. Like, huh? <laughs> Lenny, I'm not, I'm not the same, same person, person I was back then. That, that, that little girl who did nothing but cower in the corner in fear. fear. She, she doesn't, doesn't need saving anymore. anymore. I know you want to protect your little sister, but little sisters don't stay little forever. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry Lynette. Lynette. You're, You're right. right. I, let I let my concerns, concerns get the better, get better of me. Oh, oh and the and next, next time, time you want to distract, distract me, me, you should you try, try a different approach. approach. You moron. <laughs> Who's this? You pick, pick up a stray while I was gone? gone? Boy, he was quick to change the subject. <sighs> It's a, it's a bit complicated. complicated. I'll, I'll explain, explain later. later. Anyway, anyway, her name's her Bonnie. Bonnie. Well, well, if there, if there are, are no objections, objections then, then I suppose, I suppose the, only the only thing left, left to say is... is... Lynette? Lynette? Traveler? Traveler? Welcome, Welcome to the, to the team. team. Oh my god. It appears the Love Bear family was very particular in their use of insignias and emblems. Hey, do you by chance know about that damn snake sword on the locket we have? The family, the family would use different emblems to mark differences in status, blood, blood relation, and the like. In, in fact, fact, the insignia, insignia that was discovered on the pendant was used to represent an illegitimate, illegitimate child. child. He's a bastard. So that would mean... It's highly likely. That very <laughs> status might have been what allowed him to emerge from the fall of his family relatively unscathed. It would it also, also explain, explain why he was able to assume a new identity as a researcher with relative ease. Because he's not even related to them. I like that they put that word in the game. <laughs> Wait, what is this game's rating again? I forget. It, it bothers me because when uh, I, I, I'm, I'm really active on Pinterest, I'm kind of popular on there. And there's always people, every time I, because I have nothing but like Genshin pins and stuff like that. Like, you know, Samurai Warriors, Dynasty Warriors, Sengo Kabaspa. But I focus on the Genshin stuff a lot. And there's people that keep saying, oh, I'm only 14, and I'm like, what the fuck? Because there was like a forum, right, where somebody was talking about something and I joined in on it. And they were like, yeah, right, no no adults play this game, and, I, and I'm and i I'm 30 years old. And I'm like, yeah, you might want to recheck that statement, bro. <laughs> I have 4,493 hours in this game, and I'm 30 years old. I turn 30 next, uh, 31 next month, and even the voice actors who... A voice act in this game also play this game and they're not kids so for people to say that only 14s play the 14 year olds play this game that's just actively untrue that ain't fucking true we discovered, we discovered something, something interesting, interesting though, though. After, after talking, talking to some, to some of, of his co-workers it, it appears he pretty, pretty much works, works at the, at the institute, institute in name only, only. 
He's practically been cast out. I feel like that's why this game is the way it is, and it kind of sucks. I want to see Genshin be more adult. I want more adult themes in this game, because I like the style, I like the characters, and the story's already kind of fucked up anyway. Like, it has its dark points, is what I'm trying to say. Like, it's dark. Like, they have murderings, and then that part where they're saying how Le uh, Le Lynette was saved. Like, that guy was going to assault her, and then sell her as an actual slave. Like, that's adult themes. Um, like, I like the realism. Like, they're being real about what he was really going to do. That's why Linny's freaking out, because he's, like, the same guy. Like, the family, anyway. Not the guy, exactly, because the guy was, mur uh, was killed by Alachino, of course, but the guy's from that family. But, like, the point is, it's like, that's why this game is the way it is, and why Honkai is the way it is. Honkai's more adult about crap, and their designs and their themes are more serious, because... A lot of the Honkai stuff is different than Genshin. Genshin, I feel like, is more aimed at younger audiences, as where Honkai isn't. But I don't know, man. I feel like that's a different subject I don't even want to get on. I don't even want to talk about that, because I feel like you get people like, Oh, well, kids shouldn't be playing that. Yeah, you're right. Kids shouldn't be. But it's up to their parents if their parents want to let them play it. But I'm a 30-year-old woman, so I really don't give a shit. <laughs> like, for me, I don't care what I play. My parents don't give a fuck what I play. So... That's why I'm saying, like, I feel like I want this game to be more adult, like, like the way Honkai is. I really wish they would get, get over that. But, I know how it is. I don't want to touch on that subject, cause I know how people are with that. It's just like, seeing them throw the word bastard out there, I was like, yeah, there we go. There's the adultness I was asking for. What about it? Apparently, Pierre, Pierre was, was once addicted, addicted to sin. sin. Mm -hmm. He tried, he tried to, use to use the resources, the resources at the, the institute, institute to create a substance with a similar effect. Wasn't he the guy who blew up the institute or is that, that some other guy? Because that was like another world quest I did and I'm trying to figure out if it's the same guy. I want to say that it is because I was like, don't I know that name? But I can't really remember. He claimed, he claimed it was just, it was just for research purposes, purposes. But, the but the institute revoked, revoked his access, access to the relevant materials regardless. He was, he was placed on disciplinary, on disciplinary leave pending a thorough investigation of his actions. But... It seems the Institute ran into some trouble along the way. Could have been a lack of personnel or a timing issue. In any case, they had to table their formal investigation into Pierre. Unfortunately, that also included reporting any relevant information to the higher authorities. As for his family background, it appears none of his co-workers at the Institute were aware of that information. All they could tell us was that he was quite the recluse. Hmm, maybe we'll have to take our investigation elsewhere then. Or did you find anything useful as it is residence? Other, Other than, than the pendant, pendant we, didn't we didn't find anything, anything else of note at his residence in Poisson. Hmm. Based, Based on the on samples of imitation synth, synth we've been able to analyze, it appears, it appears the substance leaves behind strong traces wherever it's produced or stored. Those traces might not be obvious to the casual observer, but they're, but they're not, not something our guard poodles would miss. Pierre's home, though. Came up completely clean. So he probably didn't do it there. We didn't, we didn't find, find any records, records indicating possible involvement in overseas transactions either. So, the Marachose Phantom didn't view him as a major suspect at first. Hmm. Maybe he had a separate, dedicated area where he made the imitation synth. Well, his neighbors did say he was often gone for long stretches of time. You would you think, think with him out and about, about so much, people, people would, have would have spotted him around Poisson, but residents said they barely ever saw him in town. Hmm. If his reclusive nature was just a matter of keeping a low profile, I guess it would make sense for him to have a secret base to carry out his business. After he disappeared, the guards conducted a thorough search of Poisson, but they didn't come across any suspicious locations. Poisson? What is it, Lena? You know how to Boer, where I first found Bonnie? To get there from Poisson, you have to cross a stretch of ocean. It's not somewhere a cat could just wander off on its own. A cat? You mean... This cat belongs to him. Bonnie is Pierre's cat. Oh, that's right! When the Marachose Phantom first tracked him down, I remember there being something about a cat in their report. So, so this, this is her? From, From what, what we've, we've learned, learned about, about Pierre's habits, he, he doesn't, doesn't seem like the type, type to venture out without, without a purpose. purpose. So what, what you're saying, saying, Lynette, is that, that Bonnie, Bonnie couldn't have gone missing in Poisson. Poisson. If that's, that's true, true, then... She must have wandered off only after Pierre brought her to his secret base. Exactly. 
Bonnie, Bonnie might even know where it is. is. Wait, Wait, you, you think, think the cat, cat can lead us there? there? But, but she's, she's not, not trained, trained like one of our guard poodles. poodles. How, is How is she supposed, supposed to understand, understand what we want her to do? do? Exactly. I can give it a go. I mean, or, or am I kidding? Lynette could give it a try. I forget what that little symbol means. It's, it's probably like an interactive mini game. Should I do it? Um. Mm. Oh! <laughs> God. It's okay. It hides behind Lynette. She serves there for course. Uh, guess, guess she's, she's a little, little skittish around strangers. strangers. I'll leave it to you then. Meow. Meow, meow. meow. Me Okay. Mm, near the coast, the beach, beneath, beneath the cliffs. The place, the place we're, we're looking, looking for is most likely north, north of the Court of Fontaine. Yeah, you know what I should have did? I, I wanted to tell her, you know, I'll let you do it, because I'm not saying that because she's a cat girl, but I'm saying that because she's a cat girl. Well, well I've, certainly I've certainly never, never taken, taken a witness statement like this before. I just wanted to see what happens if you fail, because I got it right twice previously, so I wanted to see what happens when I failed. <laughs> Well, well, if it, if it works, works out, out maybe, it's maybe it's something worth getting, getting used, used to. to. I'm dying inside. Cats, Cats and humans are actually pretty alike. alike. When it when comes to communication, communication most, most of what we want, want to convey can be accomplished through body language, language alone. alone. But, but humans, humans tend to rely too, too much on speech, speech to ever take advantage of that fact. Of course, body language has its limitations. You're not going to be able to get across anything too complicated. The important thing is that we now have a lead. Let's, Let's try, try and, and find, find a place, a place that, that matches the clues Bonnie, Bonnie gave, gave us. Um... What the... Uh... Time flies as ever, and in the blink of an eye, my birthday's here once again. Last night I received a letter and a gift from my mother. During the course of an expedition, she's managed to get her hands on a fine sword. Light and easy to swing. She said that she hoped it would help me vanquish monsters more easily. After reading the letter, I couldn't help but reflect on how things have changed recently. Staring through the window at the quiet scenery outside as though lost in a trance, in actual fact, the number of monsters around Monsta has greatly decreased during the time my mother has been away. The Knights of Favonius who stayed behind have matured and blossomed, meaning that the immersed pressure I face is gradually lessening too. Of course, much of this is thanks to you. If you're free today, why not come by the Knights of Favonius? I'll be making a special pizza today with what I would like to think is the ideal balance of toppings. Neither too heavy nor too light. Perfect for a ketchup. Oh my god. Why would they do that now? Sorry, Jean, but I'm actually kind of doing a thing with Lenny and Lynette. I'm not trying to be mean to her. I really don't like Jean too much. She, she just doesn't appeal to me. She's okay, but she's not like someone I'd go out of my mind for. I mean, I, I have her. But she's like all the way down here. Right here. I mean, she's okay, but she's just not like... she's per, For my personal like and taste in a character... Um... She's not someone I really care for. This is the old version, this is the new one. And then this is this one. Protecting, Protecting Monsta, Monsta above, above all. all. Yeah. I'm not trying to be mean or anything, it's just she's not a character I personally care for. Because I have other animal characters that have swords that I like a lot more. I, I tend to gravitate towards one specific character of a specific group. Like, I look at all, like, cryo cray claymores and I pick the ones I like the most from that class. That's why, specifically, when it comes to, like, cryo claymores, I only really like Chang Yun and Fremine. I don't care for Yula. And so forth and so on. Seems like Bonnie is trying to take us somewhere. Interactive follow the cat cutscene. <laughs> uh... 
I think this. Yeah, no, I can run. Guardians ahead. ahead. Look out! Look out. Um, let's see. I don't know, I've always been like this since this game first released. I tend to gravitate towards one character from a specific class. So, I, it's when I say class, it's based on their element and their weapon. Because, I mean, we have a lot of fire polearm characters, right? And so forth and so on. So, I, I gravitate towards one only from that group. 